So Carly, your job here with this beautiful collection of David Rockefeller's tableware and porcelain and et cetera is what? Um, so I'm the specialist head of ceramics in Christie's New York. So I helped catalog all this and do the state tax appraisal. And one of the things that David Rockefeller I've heard has said is that if the dinner conversation lags, you could always talk about the China. It That's never brutal. lagged at his table. <laughs> He kept it going, and so intelligently and interestingly. And I never heard David Rockefeller tell the same story twice. No. He had so many experiences and traveled so vastly that he had a lot to say about everything. And he could and make a really good martini. Oh yeah, the martinis Ooh. were. The martinis were amazing. Yeah. <laughs> really amazing. That's when that we first met him. That was more like 17 years ago when I first bought Skylands. And Skylands is my house in Maine and they lived on the opposing hill. And he drove his own car over to my house. He was the first neighbor to be neighborly. And he came over and to just to welcome me and say, if you want to know anything about this place, just come over for a martini and a chat. So sweet. Yeah, it was really sweet. I miss him a lot. But this is beautiful. These are English. Yes, they're also Chelsea. Same as these guys, same periods, circa 1755. Mm. And you can imagine big, how- Baby chick on the back. And there's a bunch of hiding under the wings, oh, too. Oh, yeah. themselves, yeah. Oh, yeah. Under here. And so under whimsical and so beautiful. Now, this is interesting. This is. What was this used for? Oh, I think this would have been uh, for ice cream. It seems it would have had a liner that sat in here. So this has this for ice. Exactly. So you'd pack the bottom with ice. Another liner would sit inside. Oh, this so would go on top. You could put more ice inside there. Yeah, so that keep would keep it very cold. And then this goes on top, and it would okay. keep it nice and cool. Oh. And it would have been a real treat, so you wanted oh, to keep wow. it cold. <laughs> and ice cream, a great treat. Yum. I love the color. Yeah, that's very beautiful. I really have a, a, a fondness for these amazing plates. And what are these? Those are Darby, and they're painted by Quaker Pegg, who is mm. the premier botanical artist at Darby in the early 19th century. Mm. And he left painting to become are devoutly religious and then wound up coming back to Darby to paint some more. So, so Fritillaria, Poppy, right? Looks like a flower arrangement from our book. Mm -hmm. Tulip, Passion Flower, Passia Fulvora, and Iris. So if you had any doubt, which they're named on their back. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even check. Let's see if you were right. This crown imperial uh -huh. is Fritillaria, yep. and it stinks. You know, yes, it smells I know like that skunks. Yep. And single poppies, <laughs> yes. Almost a Mechanopsis, but not quite the blue of a Mechanopsis. And, and then crazy. those, I also love heated dishes like this. These are- They're with, fantastic. I don't know why people don't make them more today. Like a reservoir. I, I collect them in silver, and they're so nice to serve breakfast on. It's like a baby dish. Remember? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> you probably don't. I remember. have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> but I bet you had one. I bet in your family there were heated dishes we, for we babies. We did have that. Yes, you did. And they had a cover on them and yeah, usually and nursery rhymes. And you had your initials. Where you filled water and yep. kept everything hot. Yeah. That's a beautiful thing. That's Chinese export? It is. Late and 18th century. Late 18th century. So mm -hmm. 1700 and something? Yes, probably 1780. Wow. So. <laughs> and there's a stack of them like yes. this pile there, over there. There is. It's part that of a much larger size. And now here's your rancière, which it had small wine glasses in mm -hmm. those days. And they would rinse from the white wine to the red wine. It's so pretty, the scenes that are painted yeah, on these there. Are, are these amazing. French? They're English. Oh, they're English. Mm -hmm. They're so beautiful. They are. But they have amazing scenes painted on them. I love this. It reminds me a lot of uh, French porcelain, you know, pa porcelain it de does, Paris exactly. scenery. Well, maybe this. With the gold and the, yeah. yeah. And then that's a beautiful punch bowl. That's also Chinese export. It is. That is beautiful. Wow, look at all the colors on that. They're all the peonies. Outside. Look, they're peonies. So beautiful. You what year is that? Um, this this is also late 18th century. I would think 1785-ish. So plastic ladle, please, because you don't bang that with a silver ladle or oh a chip. It can you imagine? Oh my gosh. And what's that? What's oh, that? I love that one. This is. That goes with this. Service. A platter. Yes, it's part of the Quaker Peg service oh. that Darby made. It's so and beautiful. If you don't know what this fabulous flower is called, it's in its real name is amaranth or amaranthus, right? Right. And it's called love lies. It's so bleeding. romantic. Yes, it is. And itchy. itchy. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is quite a, an assortment, and I think we have a very nice story to tell we do. Uh, for Martha Stewart Living magazine with this amazing tableware. 
it's not what most of us have these days to use on a daily basis, but it is beautiful to know about, to learn about, and to collect if you're so inclined. Even having a few of these pieces, conversation pieces, right? Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of opportunity to find these things, whether at an auction like Christie's or in mm -hmm. an antique dealer's shop or in your grandmother's closet. Exactly. Uh, take a look. You'll find some treasures, I'm sure. Well, thank you very much. It's oh, very it was my fun pleasure. to talk about this. And uh, I wish David were here to talk with us. I do too. Because he would love to. Thank you.